Asian giant hornets. They've been spotted in BC and they look terrifying. With a painful sting and a wingspan the size of a hummingbird, it's easy to see why most people might find them scary. But the people who have been tracking these predators say what's really frightful is what the hornets can do to our food chain. My name is Paul van Westendorp. I'm the provincial apiarist of British Columbia and I work for the Ministry of Agriculture. Van Westendorp is the BC government's top bee and hornet expert. He's been tracking giant hornets since they were first spotted in the province in 2019. He says the insects, which are native to Southeast Asia, aren't interested in humans. They only go after honeybees uh, in the late stages of summer and early fall when their nests, the nests of these hornets, are in need of animal protein and that is the reason why they do pose a risk and are considered to be a serious predator. It's partly why they've come to be known as murder hornets. The health of BC's honeybee population is important. Many of the province's fruit crops rely on the little insects for pollination. A world without bees means that the ecosystem will start to collapse and we would have not that much to eat and all what we would have left is pretty boring to eat. That's why agricultural officials in BC and Washington state see these hornets as a serious problem. If you see a giant hornet buzzing around, the important thing officials say is to stay calm and move slowly. If you're unsure of whether it is a giant hornet, well, they're fairly hard to miss. You can see it quite clearly that it is a very large insect and uh, as you can see, uh, it has a very broad uh, shield-shaped face, and that is very characteristic of this particular specimen. Uh, if I can compare this with the size of an, a bald-faced hornet, you can see here the difference between the two of them. If one does happen to sting you, you should resist the urge to start rubbing the wound and call for help right away. The worst thing to do is to start rubbing it on the spot where the sting took place, because then you help to spread it around in your tissue, and then everything will swell up. The ministry has a mobile app for people to send in their photos if they see any hornets. They're also asking people to remember the area where they were seen. If you're brave and skilled enough to trap one in a jar, there is a trick you can do to make it easier to photograph. It is a cold-blooded creature, so what you do is you just close off the jar or the container. You place that in the fridge for about 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, that insect is asleep. It won't do anything because it is cold-blooded and it cannot retain its own heat. So it will slow down and it will sit there and you can then roll it out on the kitchen cabinet or kitchen counter and you just take a few close-up photographs. And even though you can place it in your fridge, just remember that it's not exactly food. No, uh, they're not edible as such, but there are some cultures in, in Asia that uh, have certain recipes in preparation of them. And I think, uh, I do not know what the health benefits are or one's performance in certain activities. I do not know, but uh, there are some people that have uh, get a culinary delight out of consuming these, uh, these, these hornets.